Charles Fisher is back at it again this past weekend. He took to South Andros where he tried his hand at something new, venturing into the unknown. Take a look. Here in South Andros, I went on a mission. I was looking for the biggest crab pen on the island. I was told that some of the crab pens here, biggest houses. Let's find out. Meet Ronald McCartney from Mars Bay, South Andres. He, along with his grand boys, took about four days to construct this pen. That's a 16 by 20. Mm -hmm. this, is, uh, this is like a little house. Well, it's a, this is a small one. You should have mm -hmm. seen the big one over there. Mm -hmm. well, all this mail is about, that was about 60 feet. Mm -hmm. How many crabs could this hold? Roughly, you know, 50 dozen. Mm -hmm. So do you go crabbing every night? No, I mostly uh, buy some of these and crab them some. At my age, we can't do much crab than not. Mm -hmm. Now I'm young like you. Mm -hmm. I get to catch like <laughs> two or three bags at night. Mm -hmm. And what does he do with all his catch? We sell some. Mm -hmm. Sell my people some. You know. When the season is not on, you still have crabs in here, right? No. Mm -hmm. See, crab is like a uh, season day. Mm -hmm. You see them this month, next month, you see them then, the following month, they come back again. Until around about October, that's it until next year, May again. Now when the lockdown was on, how did he manage? Well, you got plenty of bush. Mm -hmm. see, the months is thin, you got to live. Mm -hmm. You know, you go through the bush and come up, up the rock. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, on the dock up there, yeah. you go from there, you rumble up. Yeah, so you don't have to come out on the road. <laughs> you got to come on the road. And they see you. You're looking for something to, uh, you know, to make a living. Some may call it a mini hotel for crabs. You got water. Now, next year, you see, I got a light in there. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. Just in case. <laughs> what do you feed them to keep them going? Well, mangrove, trash. You know, like leaf and egg. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you like, if you got food trees like me, I give them canep. Mm -hmm. I give them mango. I give them coconut. Like that. I see your black and white crab. Do, how 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 they allowed to mix like that? I we see, you know, like with a black crab. I don't want to catch them because one one big one, mm -hmm. right? And I just throw them with the white. Mm -hmm. And they got to do like black black and white people. We got to learn how to live together. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And I see they have their little pool where they're bathing in the water and all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every morning I go in there, I change the water, give them fresh water, be wholesome dog, you know. You're not you're not afraid to go inside there? No, man. <laughs> what? How, how come you're not? They get biters and everything. Yeah. I'll be afraid. You know, them. you know they got to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, so go inside. There is some on the side. You, right now you go in that dog. Okay. You know? <laughs> All of them are just back on the side mm -hmm. for you to pass. Come up. So is it good to just pick the crop over to the bush and eat it? Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. But they won't be as fat. It takes longer to get fat. Mm -hmm. You see? That's my belief. What do you mean by fattening, fattening the crab? Because I mean, Nassau people might not know that. What is fattening? All right. Then you boil crab and dough and you see that yellow thing come on the dough. Man, that's good. Mm -hmm. Some good stuff. Mm -hmm. You can get basketball and all in there. You know, sometimes when they get relaxed, mm -hmm. you wake them up and beat them up in the morning. You know, show them now, because it's hot now. If you don't want, I mean, with me, every morning I host my crab down so they keep cool. Mm -hmm. See? These crab getting treated better than, than human. I, mm -hmm. treat, I treat these crab and I treat my wife. Well, I came to South Angeles looking for the biggest crab pen, but I also found the sweetest canaps on the island. Sorry, Ladon. None for you, none for Betty, and none for your folks there in the studio. Taste good.